Hey, it's Jeffrey Paul Ross from nextlevelguitar.com. Uh, today we're going to work on some uh, double stops that uh, will kind of make you sound like a, like a twin guitar thing, all from one guitar. Uh, it's magic! Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's smoke and mirrors, actually. Uh, this will we'll work on some like E major pentatonic stuff. It sort of sound like the Almond Brothers. So we'll be up here roughly between the ninth and the twelfth fret, maybe uh, maybe even up here. But uh, the pattern will kind of consist of these notes. <laughs> Almond Brothers sounding there, but what we're going to do, we're going to play two notes simultaneously, and we're going to bend them simultaneously. And uh, to give you an example, like... on doing those first. So once again we're in the key of E. So let's start right here. And we've got our third finger on the A string on the 11th fret. Then we've got our first finger on the D string on the, uh, the ninth fret. And we're going to hit those together. fret with our first finger we're gonna bar the D and the G string so we get this the next we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move that up a whole step so so we're up on the 11th fret barring the the D and the G string with our third finger Now we're going to come down here to the G and the B string back on the 9th fret, barring those with our first finger. So that. Now here's where the trick comes in. Okay, now we're going to hit this little double stop with our third and our second finger. Third, third finger on the G string on the 11th fret. And second finger on the A, well, on the on the B string on the tenth fret. It's an A note, so it should produce that little double stop chord. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna bend that up, and I think you just have to use your ear. Basically, what we're doing, we're bending up to this. And that is like a whole step up. So you're actually on the 13th fret and the 12th fret on the G and the B string. So, but we're not, gonna, we're not gonna slide up, we're gonna bend up. And uh, I'd like to interject at this point, you might want to use lighter strings to do this. And uh, unfortunately, I've got some heavy strings here. And it's a... Okay, so. So we're going to go up and then back down. And then we're going to go back to that one. Where we're barring with our first finger on the ninth fret on the G and the B string. Okay, so now we'll go back to that one where we're borrowing on the, the D and the G string on the 11th fret with our third finger. And then we'll drop that back. And we're just basically going back down the way we came up. Then back down to the 9th fret, G and B, uh, D and G string with our first finger. Go 
to this double stop, mm -hmm. we're on the 12th fret on the A string with our third finger. And then we're on the 11th fret on the D string with our second finger. And then we're going to drop that back to the, the original uh, double stop that we started out with. can do to just kind of trick it out a little bit coming back down after we do that rather than just hitting that double stop we can bend and I just pull down so different variations. Now we can keep going. We can do stuff like that. Now we're on the B and the E string. So. Let's try this one. Now what I'm doing here if you can watch my right hand, I'm kind of squeezing the strings together so they'll both fit under one finger. And see, I'm not barring. I'm, I'm actually, see, I'm actually fretting that with the end of my finger. And like I said, I kind of squeeze the, the strings together with my thumb and my forefinger on my right hand. We can do stuff like this while the strings are pinched together. See, I'm fretting them. It's all, it almost feels like a 12, like you're fretting on a 12 string guitar. So, very kind of uh, oriental sound there. But that's that major pentatonic that the Allman Brothers used a lot. So, so, so I'm coming up to the 14th fret on the B and the E string with my third finger, and, and I'm just bending up like same thing. But I've got two strings under one finger. Now I'd like to say too because. When you're bending, the strings kind of go up at different intervals. So when you're doing these bends, it's probably not a good idea to bend up and just hold on that note because then the listener will kind of hear the dissonance. But if you're just doing it quick, you know, it goes by so fast that you don't really hear it. And the listener, man, how'd you get, how'd you get two notes like that, you know? How'd, so that's that's how it's done. You know, it's pinching the strings together and fretting, fretting it almost like a 12-string guitar. So, so I drop it down to the 12th fret. Once again, we're all on the B and the E string. And then come down to uh, the 9th fret. And you can go back up to the 12th fret and bend that up. variations you can do. Now that, I'm just doing that. That major pentaton. It's almost like, uh, like South African music, but I'm just doing it, you know, just you know, using the double stops. There's one more trick you can do. You can drop this the high E string down to a D, you know, almost like a you know, 
you know, like Robert Johnson would use like open G tuning. Now. And that's, I'm doing those same, you know, I'm pinching the notes together, but now rather than getting like a parallel fifth sound, I'm getting a third, you know. And when you do that, it really trips people out because they, <laughs> you know, how are you doing that? Do you have a pedal that's playing the harmony? No, I'm just pinching the two. And that's how it's done. Once again, pinching the two strings together with your thumb and forefinger and just, you're just fretting like, uh, like it's one, uh, one string and just bending. So that's that's the trick. The basic pattern is the the E major pentatonic uh, going uh, from the ninth fret to the twelfth fret. You know. You know that's the basic pattern, and then you and you can just. Just push and pull, mix and match to suit your own taste. So, uh, once again, it's been Jeffrey Paul Ross for NextLevelGuitar.com, uh, reminding you that we do have over 850 examples of various types of guitar lessons, most genres covered. Uh, and we start beginning uh, through intermediate on up through advanced. So we'll see you next time.